What is going on, my peeps? Man, Versatile is back with another video. Back here to finally rejoice <laughs> over Samsung finally fixing and majorly updating Home Up and specifically Task Changer. Yes, the ability to change your recent apps and how that operates. Before it used to have its own section in Goodlock 2020. Now it's within Home Up, within Goodlock. And so that's what we're going to get into and why I'm excited about this update and why I can use it again and why I can now encourage you guys to also use it. But before we do, if you guys haven't already, ignite the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss my videos. Then we can sit back, chillax, and see what's cracking. Now, let's get into the video. I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy S21, of course, to show you guys. So it should be popping up right here or right here. So that way we can see the rundown of what makes it so good. So upon jumping in here, okay, thank you. All right, so if we go over to Good Lock, we're gonna go to Good Lock. And once Good Lock opens up, if you scroll down to Home Up, click on Home Up, and you scroll down, you see I already have it installed, it's called Task Changer. Now, prior to the update, Task Changer completely changed how the recent apps worked and it was no longer fluid and smooth. It was very rigid and accidental. Meaning if you just tried to swipe up to try to go home, it would initiate the task changer or the recent app screen. And that would be very annoying and almost felt like buggy. So I just stopped using it because it was just too rigid and accidental. Like the region in which you could swipe up to go home was very small, very minimal. Now with the update, now they also only have three different layout types. <clears throat> And maybe that's why to keep things on a very fluid motion. But the difference now is that it acts just like your regular recent apps or task changer when you swipe up from the, you know, gesture from the home gesture button, home tab at the bottom. So upon me swiping, you see it's still natural. It's still natural. You couldn't do that before though. See, before this update, it did not act like that. It was very, very rigid. But now if you swipe up, it acts as though it's your task changer now as you guys have are seeing my task changer is different i'm using the stacked layout type as opposed to the grid or the list and the reason why i'm doing that is because i like that <laughs> it kind of it does kind of feel a little apple-esque i do like how apple's cards uh app cards in, the, in their recent apps is designed like that and now you can do that and it's very smooth within task changer within home up within good luck now, as you guys also noticed, there is a slight delay. So when I swipe up, you see the apps fall in line right afterwards. Now, I hope that they drop another update to maybe speed that up where once you swipe up, everything's kind of there. But it almost seems like you got to take the good with the bad or the catch 22 in that you want fluid. And then it just takes like a half a second to a second for the apps to kind of fall in line. Or do you not want to have to deal with that and go with rigidity? I, I'd rather have the way it is right now, but if they could sure that up, I would appreciate that Samsung. As you guys can see down in the details, you got center the currently running app. Now, again, as you guys can see, if I were to do that and swipe up, boom, the task changer app that I'm currently in is centered. Now, if I turn that off, if I swipe up, it will instantly move to the next app. So for me, the reason why I like having it, having my initial app centered is because if I wanted to just swipe over to the previous app I was using, I would just swipe over like that. But I don't have to do that because I'm not worried about going back into the keep notes right now. Now you can also show the label of your app if you want to, as you guys saw with mine, I don't have it. If you guys looking at it, layout screen right there, you see maps, you actually see the app label right there and then calendar and all that. See, for me, I have that turned off. So when I swipe up, it's not there. It just shows a little app icon, but I don't need an app label. You can also hide the search bar. Again, as you see in the layout type up there, it shows you that there's a search bar at the top you want to use it. But again, for space, I turn that, I, I have it hidden. So as I swipe up, you see it's not up there in mine. Be straight on that. You know, switch the previous apps with gestures, swipe the bottom area to switch to the previous app. So you can turn that off if you wanted to. Now, I don't know what that would do. And I don't, you know, me sometimes I don't feel like accidentally breaking stuff. But essentially, it shows you how to activate gestures. So depending on what gestures you're using is how you would activate the gesture. 
the swipe back gesture, gesture basically. But if you turn that off, then you don't have to worry about using that. So I'm not gonna fool with that. Allow bottom gestures in full screen mode, of course. Allow gestures in pay region of home screen. So basically with Samsung Pay, do you still want the gestures to be used with task changer that's what that's for and then the bottom gesture sensitivity setting you can change how sensitive the gestures are at the bottom of the screen so thank you samsung for finally fixing that and if you guys had similar problems with trying to use task changer yourself now you guys know that it is fixed and you guys can go in and enjoy it now and it still feels like as if nothing changed but i did want to highlight something real quick and it's kind of link to whether or not samsung has peaked and this is one of those areas where they can fine tune their software overall by taking some of those good lock features and baking it into their regular software so we don't have to depend on downloading not necessarily third party i guess you could say second party apps <laughs> from samsung such as good lock and have to download all these app modules to get some of these cool features it would be nice if they actually just took some of this and baked it right into their settings so that way we can immediately use them you know like with wallpaper clock style they already have some of that baked in always on display they already have some of that baked into the settings just take this some of this stuff and bake it into the settings as well just to make things that much more smooth when it comes to customizing and setting up your phone the first go around please samsung that's a way for you guys to continue transcending in terms of improving your overall hardware and devices specifically your software but again, that's it for this video. Hope you guys appreciate it, enjoyed it. Again, if you guys haven't already, ignite the like button, subscribe to the video. Woo, subscribe to the channel. Hit <laughs> that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. That way we can sit back, chillax, see what's cracking. Leave down comments in the section, in the comment section below. <gasps> Tongue twister. Do you guys use good lock? Do you guys use task changer? Are you looking forward to using it? Are you gonna try it out? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's your man Versal signing out. And until the next video, wait for it.